the big fellow was always so alive, you know, always so full of it. Um, an absolute massive Mickey taker. He, he didn't mind having fun taken out of his end, you know, but uh, my God, he gave it back in spades. He was, from the first day I met him, when I met him here and um, he was telling me that he'd had this operation which had cut into a gland and and since then all he'd done, ever done was put weight on and I said, oh God, that's terrible, God. And he said, yeah, no compensation or anything, you know. And then I asked him to come away with us if he wanted to Norwich for um, um, for a little trip. We were playing there, you know, come away with the staff and we went for an Indian meal the night before the game and I think he, he devoured a set meal for six. And we then knew there was nothing wrong with his glands. <laughs> Listen, there's so many tales about the big fella. He, he just laughed, you know, he, he, whether he was photographer, whether he was commercial, whether he was secretary here, had a great attitude and, as I say, tremendous Mickey taker. And we're all very sad for Lorraine, you know, he's, he and Lorraine, Lorraine worked for us when I was one of the, the partners up at the leisure centre and uh, Lorraine was a manageress for us there and a, a lovely lady and uh, it's just a big shock, you know, he was always, if you'll excuse the expression, larger than life. At the time, I always use the expression, you could have lit up Lancashire with the, um, with the energy coming out of this place at the time. You know, we had very strange things like queues. You know, I remember one day there were three queues coming out of the place, waiting for the next League Cup game, the next FA Cup game, the next League game. And, and, and Gordon was part of that, you know, he, he had a great relationship with the fans and everyone knew him as Big Gordy. You know, it, it, it was, it was that close, and uh, and the, the big fella relished it. You know, he he, he really enjoyed it. As I say, he, he came on the coach with us. He he went. He was welcome in the dressing room. He was he was welcome anywhere in the club. And but it, it was that kind of club. He wasn't alone. You know, everybody had that relationship with the place, and uh, he he was a major part of it. You know, he he was, you know, he was part of the legend at the time. The nicest thing I can say and the most honest thing is that whenever his name was mentioned everybody smiled. Nobody could stay serious when you're talking about or talking to Big Gordy. There was always some tale or other, he'd been on holiday um, somewhere and, and there'd been a security check and everybody had to get off the plane and stand next to their cases on the runway and he said it, it was hot everywhere, he said you can imagine I'm sweating like God knows what, you know, and all the the, the security around with their dogs and they wouldn't leave his case alone, you know, they, and the security said to him, you know, why, why on earth won't the dogs leave your case alone, they're all over it. And he said, well, I, I don't know, he said, but I can assure you there's no dog food in there, you know, so that was his, his humour, he was very sharp, you know, he had to be very clever to say, good man. He would be very, very sadly missed, and as I say, all our Best wishes and love to Lorraine, the lovely lady who's around the club and, and also up at the leisure centre when we, we were involved up there and it was Norman Leisure that was. And um, no, it, it's a very sad time, very sad time for the big fella. He, he's a, a Latics legend.